Hi, I'm Ashley Park with ID8 TV. We're here at Stanley's Comic Con, and I'm here with Leela, who's going to tell me a little bit about her company, Angry Little Girls, also Angry Little Asian Girls. It goes by both. So, Leela, can you tell me, how did you get started with this? I started Angry Little Asian Girl when I was in college. Um, I was an angry young woman, sort of uh, upset about the world that I was inheriting learning about um, racism and sexism and patriarchy, all the things that I had experienced growing up but didn't have the words or labels to know that that's what it was. Um, and so I created a little um, unanimated short called Angry Little Asian Girl in 1994 and then I hid it in a drawer for, you know, indefinitely because I was embarrassed by its anger. Um, I wanted to have friends so I hid it and then um, after I graduated from college um, I was working at my parents' dry cleaners, and <clears throat> between the morning rush and the afternoon rush, there was a long span of doing nothing, and I decided to pull out the animated short and work on it. I added four more episodes, and then I sent it off to Spike and Mike Sick and Twisted, a festival of animation. They asked for exhibition rights, and then um, I was also a volunteer at American Cinematheque and the programmer asked me what I did because I was always volunteering to take photographs of directors doing Q&As. And I told her that I was an actor and also I had this animated short called Angry Little Asian Girl. She asked for uh, a copy of it and then she called me and she said, I love it, I'm gonna screen it. So once she screened it, she had sent it to two critics in the LA Times and the LA Weekly and they both to my surprise, gave it really glowing reviews. Yeah, and then after the screening, people came up to me and were like, I am an angry little Asian girl too, and it's exactly what I went through growing up. And then I just had this light bulb moment where I was like, I'm gonna make t-shirts. So on a credit card, I got 300 t-shirts made, and then when I picked them up two weeks later, I was like, oh my God, what did I just do? I, I was in a, sort of panicked. So I called all of my friends, I was like, I just made 300 of these shirts, would you just buy one off of me for $20? So they took pity on me and they bought these shirts, but then people that, when they were wearing it outside, people they didn't know were like, where did you get that? I want one. So they started calling me and they'd come over to my apartment and buy these shirts, people I didn't know, and I was like, this is really cool, I want to keep selling shirts, but I don't want people I don't know coming over to my apartment. So then I launched a website in 98, and I set out to make it my job. I worked an hour every day on it until it started to take it. It started to take over my my entire day, and I actually started making money at it. And then I was eventually able to make it into my day job. And then from Angry Little Asian Girl, I was having a hard time getting it published because of the Asian. So I switched it to Angry Little Girls, and I also expanded it because a lot of my fans were saying. Um, well, a lot of women, when I was tabling and going out to um, events like these, they, a lot of women were saying that they totally got the anger, but that they couldn't wear the shirt because they weren't Asian. And that's when I understood that women have a lot of suppressed anger. So I expanded it to Angry Little Girls for that reason as well. And then when I switched it to Angry Little Girls, I actually I got published. That's amazing. I'm just standing here mesmerized by this story. I think that's absolutely amazing. Entrepreneurial and, I mean, it's so cool. Okay, so uh, tell me a little bit about some of the other products that you have here. Well, so I noticed that women have a lot of discomfort speaking up and but then if they have product that actually has that attitude on it and it's funny and colorful and cute they will totally wear it and use I it. I love this one make your own damn sandwich. Yeah, so, um, this I just made because there's that that uh, that meme going around the men always say get in the ki kitchen and make me a sandwich so I made a sandwich a lunch bag out of it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> This shirt is really good. It's a, it's to empower women. So it says your hero has arrived, so is yours. I love that. Yeah, and it also I started uh, I started making uh, kid shirts because I think the time um, is right for the par like people who I grew up with are now parents and they want to empower their daughters. Right. And so I um, I also feel like a lot of the girls apparel is very pink and you know, princessy. Mm -hmm. 
So I wanted to really um, get in that space and give a, an alternative messaging for that. I love that. Empower them early. Start early. And then this is just really fun because <laughs> yes, because <laughs> she's wearing a bikini <laughs> mm -hmm. I love and it. sunglasses. I think that's perfect. I love it. These are really, really fun. Okay, well, I think you are amazing, very empowering, and I hope that our audience feels inspired and empowered by you. Thank you.